It's Hope Group time again, and boy, that is my favorite time of the year whenever we're meeting together, talking, building relationships, talking about Jesus. Uh, that's always a ton of fun. You know, sometimes when fasting season comes around, you got to quit using something. Well, when fasting season comes around for me, I got to quit using my favorite cup. You know, at fasting time, we say goodbye to coffee. We, uh, for myself, grow a beard so I can hide my grumpy face. And wow, do I feel sorry for Brenda. Uh, but let's do this. Let's, uh, let's talk about this cup. Let's talk about this cup my daughter-in-law made me for Christmas and she put the letter J on it. I know what you're thinking. What is that letter J on it for? Well, I won't explain what the, This letter J is the first letter of the first, of the first most important words I have learned to skillfully use. It's for just a minute, dear. That statement has served my life more than once and gotten me out of a lot of trouble. Just a minute, dear, the game is almost over. Or just a minute, dear, I need to answer the text. It's really important. When you really get good at this, you can say, just a minute, dear, I'm looking online to buy you a gift. Or just a minute, dear, I'm praying for you. Well, best of all, just a minute, dear, I'm looking up your mom's phone number so I can give her a call later. Or just a minute, dear, I'm writing you a love letter. Now, the cup of coffee that my mother-in-law made for my wife, it's completely different. It starts with the letter B. I know, you're wondering, well, what does that stand for? Well, the letter B stands for, be right there, dear. There hangs the quality of your life. Which cup will you choose? It says this of Abraham, then Abraham took Ishmael, his son, and all those that were born in his house, everyone he'd bought with money, and he circumcised the flesh of the foreskins the very day that God spoke to him. Look, when God called the disciples, they left their nets, they left their boats, they left their fathers. Matthew got up and left the table. Their response time was immediate. So the question is, how do you serve? How do you handle all this? Well, when God calls you to cut off some pleasure part of your life, it's so that you can develop a lifelong series of habits, how do you respond to him? What kind of cup is your daughter-in-law going to create for you? Just some questions. I would suggest that even though mine is a J, just a minute, dear, I would encourage you to get a B. B right there. And let that be your response to Jesus. So here are three questions I'd like you to consider and discuss tonight. Number one. What happens when you delay your response to obey Yahweh? Number two, immediate response to Yahweh's voice does not always cost, but it pays. What does it pay? What is your greatest obstacle to immediate obedience? Be honest, be open, share your heart. Then and finally, I'd like you to read all of Psalms 128 and discuss these great blessings to immediate response to the Lord. Because here's what I think. I think this, I think if we respond immediately to the Lord, our blessings will be amazing. Pray for one another, ask God to give you a heart that uses the B cup. Well, I've been told I make a pretty good cup of coffee, who knows? Here's the sad thing about right now, this cup of coffee, I can't even drink because I'm off a of coffee. So the question becomes, what should we do with it? Well, I'm like those guys that came and brought that water to David's men and poured it out on the ground. I, I think we should just give it to God. Hey, you have a great home group tonight.